to FIFA Save My Life. Yes, we are at that time of the year again. We have Team of the Year. Uh, yes, Team of the Year has been released today. Well, the nominees at least. Uh, so you can go on to the website, which is www.ea.com slash T-O-T-Y. Uh, so they can go on there. You can see all the nominees, which I'll show you now. Uh, and again, obviously, you can go on there and design your own team and submit it. Now, this time last year was the first time that I was beginning to get interested in FIFA. Uh, as you all know, that I, I, I kind of went into FIFA due to the uh, depression that I currently have. Um, and I found it helped a lot. Uh, how I don't, know, I don't know now looking back um, <laughs> especially after getting into weekend leagues but I've uh, yeah I, it was the first thing that I kind of really did uh, I, I didn't really know what I was doing I picked it because of the players I like and actually I got uh, what was it 9 out of 11 players 9, 10, 11 no yeah, no, 9 out of 11 players uh, uh, right uh, last year so uh, 9 out of 11 players were right last year this year I don't know I don't I can't quite feel the same uh, certainty that last year. Last year was quite easy. I think a lot of them picked themselves. This year, you can kind of go either way. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you what I voted for. Uh, let me know. No, let me know down below what you voted for. That'd be really good to understand, sort of hear, and what your views on it are, and and then so on and so forth. And again, yeah, uh, let us know how you're getting on with it. And if you're looking forward to Team of the Year, uh, how you're getting on. Again, today is messy day. Uh, he has not come out as of yet. Uh, we are five o'clock. We are probably an hour and counting. Uh, so Messi is out in an hour. Uh, are you going to be doing Messi? Uh, I'm going to be doing some videos on it later on. I don't know because I don't know how expensive he's going to be. I might put my entire club into it or I might just sit back and watch uh, with the old popcorn and watch everybody self-explode. I don't know. But first of all, team of the year, let's have a look at what I've done. Uh, so, 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 so. Uh, so this is the format of Team of the Year. This is what it looks like. It looks beautiful, actually, to be honest. Now, I don't know. Uh, you'll see now uh, when I go through it, uh, uh, really, uh, how it's all done. I've obviously logged in uh, to the EAA community, so I'm in there. So that's how they know. Again, if you log in and you submit a team, you get a free shirt, by the way, guys. Uh, so these are the players that you could have. Uh, these are all the players. Basically the usual suspects. Very few that you didn't think were going to be in there. Good to see Son in there. Um, Sterling. Massive fan of Sterling. Uh, go through midfielders. We've got Dybala. Very surprised he's in there. Seeing as they were trying to sell him off to Tottenham and get rid of him. And he didn't have a very good season. We've got Havertz who's coming up. He's a brilliant. Uh, Dijon. Again, we're having a bit of a glitch here now, people. I don't quite understand what that is. Uh, uh, but yeah, if we go back, you can see Modric. But N'Golo Kante, for some reason, does not want to come up. Uh, but there you go. Good old EA, as always. So, yeah, there you go. So, we've got Royce, Sancho, David uh, Silva, Tadic, uh, Vieri. So, again, basically, the um, usual suspects that we're looking at. Defence-wise, again, pretty much what you would expect. Uh, Jordi Alba. Uh, you've got uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. You've got Beth Hummels there, who's moved since... Uh, you've got Kulabali, uh, Laporte, and Marquinhos. Um, yeah, uh, a few others. Um, Van Dijk, obviously, clearly Van Dijk. Um, there, so let's get on with the old voting uh, and have a look at what we got. Uh, so you go up to uh, go up a bit. We got goalkeepers first as well, actually. Let's have a look at the goalkeeper. Again, there aren't many goalkeepers, um, but I do got two Brazilian. You know, again, how good is the Brazilian team at the moment? That they've got two of the the best goalkeepers in the world as their one and two. So let's start with the goalkeeper. Let's work our way through it quickly, so you can see what we got. Uh, again, you you could argue that Emerson won the league uh, and uh, did well and won I think the League Cup as well. Uh, but Allison came second in the league and won Champions League, so probably those two are the most outstanding in the game at the moment. Obviously, Stegen's probably right up there, um, but I think Allison probably is uh, the better choice. He probably improved the most and uh, deserves to be in the team. So we've got Allison in there as our goalkeeper. Is that the same as yours? Don't know. Uh, let me know down below. And please make sure you subscribe and uh, like the video. 
Uh, right, so there you go, guys. We also put in uh, Van Dyke, his uh, teammate, due to the fact that that's an absolute given, to be fair, Van Dyke, and then Trent Alexander Arnold right next to him. I think that's a given as well, to be honest. Uh, both of those were outstanding last year. As an Everton fan, it hurts me a lot. Um, I'm going to put in a Delict. Uh, Delict in there, number one, he got a massive money move uh, from uh, Ajax. Number two, he was amazing at Ajax. So, hey. Uh, I think he deserves a spot in that team of the year. Like I said, it could have been anybody. Uh, on the left-hand side, uh, we have a Robertson. Uh, so we have Andy Robertson from uh, Liverpool as well. So we've got pretty much a Liverpool back five there, other than De Ligt, and he nearly went to Liverpool. Uh, in midfield, I'm going to put Modric in there. Massive Modric fan. think the guy is amazing. Uh, and again, has a brilliant season after brilliant season. So again, he's in there uh, alongside with De Bruyne, who again had an amazing season with Man City, winning the league with League Cup uh, and doing well in Champions League. So again, he he was a massive driving force behind that. Uh, now this is where it gets difficult, is who to put in the third spot in midfield. You could put in Fabinho. Uh, you could even go midfield for Man City again and have uh, De Silva. Uh, you could have a uh, silver or uh, Bruno Sil uh, De Silva. So you could go in there. You could have Kante, although last year I don't think Kante had such a good game. Probably my favourite would be Dijon. Uh, at the moment, he's mad in this game as well. Uh, this year, um, he is coming along nicely. But also at the same time, I think last season, again, he got himself a big money move to Barcelona and was absolutely outstanding. So that's that's what he gets uh, so uh, we've got striker wise very easy messy up front uh, massive messy fan can't wait for the messy uh, to be released later on so we got that uh, we've also got I think uh, Sterling up there uh, again outstanding for both England and his uh, team Man City uh, scoring lots of goals and Mbappe uh, I think Mbappe makes it nice and easy I think Mbappe goes up front. And that is the team, boys and girls. Uh, so we've got Alisson in goal. Uh, we've got De Ligt partnering uh, Van Dijk. So you've got the Dutch maestros in the in the uh, centre of defence. Uh, you've got Andy Robinson, uh, Robertson and uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, left and right backs. You've got uh, De Jong, again, another Dutch master right there. You've got Modric, uh, who was last year's Ballon d'Or. Obviously, this year's Ballon d'Or is Messi see who's still in the team alongside De Bruyne and Sterling there on the right with on the left uh, you've got Mbappe Mbappe uh, so you've got Mbappe uh, on there as well I think he's been absolutely outstanding for PSG and probably won't be there for too long um, and that is my team guys uh, now I don't know how that differs from yours or whether you, that changes your mind you think oh, oh I wish I wish I'd put him in there let me know down below what you think about your team uh, and what you think about my team and team of the year in general. Are you excited for it? Are you uh, looking forward to when it comes out uh, early in the uh, 2020s? Uh, exciting times. So there you go, guys. Having a bit of a technical issue. It's EA. What a shocker. Um, but I'll get around it. Submit my form. And there you go. So, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know uh, later on if you're going to do messy. Take care of yourself, and if you can't take care of yourself, find someone who can. Bye-bye.